five days after we recorded this episode on direct action, John Lewis passed away. And there's no possible way that we could release this conversation without talking about John Lewis and dedicating our conversation here to his legacy. To say that he will be missed is an offensive understatement. Uh, To be frank, when the news hit, it wasn't just a sensation of immense loss. It felt like a vacuum of dignity and strength materialized at the corner of Auburn Avenue and Jackson Street. He was our congressman for over 15 years. Kyle and I have always been in his district. It's difficult to convey the sense of pride and honor that comes with being represented by a civil rights icon. Ebenezer Baptist Church, where he was recently memorialized at his funeral, is mere blocks from here, where Martin Luther King Jr. and his father before him served as pastors. It's where the Black Lives Matter protests that we were a part of would often start and stop. And as you know, we love this city, come hell or high water. And so we loved John Lewis. His legacy is the stuff that Atlanta is made of, and we mourn his loss. So as we talk in this episode about how music binds us together and compels those of us with conscience to take action for others in love, I want you to keep in mind the living example of two distinct but compatible truths. John Lewis was the man who said, we do not want our freedom gradual. We want to be free now. And yet John Lewis was also the man who would go on to describe an incident when he was younger, he was beaten bloody by members of the KKK attempting to enter a quote, white waiting room. And he said that many years later in the February of 2009, One of the men who had beaten me came to the Capitol Hill office. He was in his 70s and his son was in his 40s. And he said, Mr. Lewis, I am one of the people who beat you and your seatmate on a bus. And he said, I want to apologize. Will you accept my apology? And John Lewis accepted his apology and he hugged his father and his son. He hugged these people and they cried together. And John Lewis said, it is the power in the way of peace and in the way of love. We must never ever hate. The way of love is a better way. For us Atlantans, good trouble is deep in our bones and we join together with this community in ensuring that good trouble only creates more freedom and more forgiveness and more love.